Uh, hi YouTube friends, this is a video showing what it's like to be a professional juggler on the road. I've been doing this for 40 years. On this tour I worked mostly small stages and small crowds. However, this crowd was from a really fun show I did in Medford, Oregon during the tour opening for Darcy Farmer who won America's Got Talent. More about that later. My trip started out early with a $23 cab ride to the airport. It was an uneventful cross-country flight, although I did learn how to work a seat belt. I was on a tight schedule, so I had to quickly get my bags and get over and get a rental car, which cost me a thousand bucks for the month, ouch, and get on the road for a six-hour drive to Oregon. Oh, there's a lizard in the back of that car. This is where I am. I crossed over the California border and checked into Jim's Airbnb. Jim was a nice guy and looked nothing like Norman Bates. Six nights, $407. Great room. My first job was the Jackson County Fair in Bedford. Mmm, gourmet food. It was your basic fair. I hope. I wasn't allowed to record the show that I did where I opened for Darcy Farmer on American Talent, but something crazy happened I wanted to tell you about. It. Halfway through my set, all of a sudden from over a hill came four low-flying large military helicopters. They looked like this and they were coming right at the stage and I ran over and shook my fist at them. Right then they turned away from the stage and I told them to keep their props away from my props and then I told the audience it cost me a lot of money to hire those guys. It was a fun show. I did three half-hour shows a day for five days and cleared three thousand dollars. On my travel day I'm heading north and I stopped off at a hatchery to eat some rainbow trout. Have some fair food, trout. I visited with my cousin Tina, who lives in Medford, and she recommended a side trip to Crater Lake. It's uh, on the top of a volcano. It's 2,000 feet deep and four miles across. Crystal clear water. No big deal. I'm headed north for my next job, and on the way I stopped in Portland and played a pickup soccer game. I decided to show this scenery instead, although I did score two goals. I checked into a Best Western in St. Helens, Oregon for five days. The room was huge. The bathroom was so big it had an echo. The Columbia Fair was a small rural fair with really nice people. I was on a small stage, but it was real fun. The open acts were a piting contest and tractors. Another five days and 15 shows, I made 3,000 bucks. Now I'm headed south to Eugene. I'm going along the boring Oregon coast. I stopped for one night at a motor lodge, which was not so nice. The next travel day was a Oregon beach day. The weather was so warm that I got in the water and put my ankle said, Stop! But it was a relaxing day after working for 10 days. I got to Eugene, Oregon and visited with my brother and stayed at his friend Chris's B&B &B for free. It was awesome. Next up was the Lane County Fair, a really big fair with Ferris wheels and crazy rides and animals and you could even ride on motorcycles if you wanted to. That's me! I did shows in a circus tent owned by Just In Time who have a really neat science show. Well, I'm headed south through smoky southern Oregon on to do my last gig which is in California. I stopped in the Trinity Alps to check out the scenery. It was pretty nice and very relaxing. I did drive through the Central Valley and uh, usually it's almond orchards. Is that a pot farm? I got to my old hometown, Santa Cruz, and I got into a rustic Airbnb. It was so rustic it had a whalebone. I'll be working my fourth year in the boardwalk in Santa Cruz, which is kind of like 
Coney Island only on the west coast is about the attitude of your soccer ball, right? Got a old roller coaster, one of the oldest wood roller coasters in North America. This is my stage for six days, and I had shows at 1, 3, and 5 p.m. It was next to a noisy ride, but I just yelled a lot. This was the view from behind the stage. Well, on my day off, I went up the coast towards Happen Bay and kind of checked out the tide pools. And uh, the crab tried to get me. I also went to San Jose and went to an Egyptian museum and saw somebody's mummy. For the rest of the trip, I stayed at my childhood friend Blair Glenn's house. He has a really great YouTube channel called Blair Glen Arbor. It's all about trees. I had a lot of nice sunshine on this trip, and I did a lot of shows. And the best way to improve your act is to do shows and experiment and really find out what the audience likes. I feel like my show changed a lot over the one month, 63 shows. There you go. Well, it was time to head back to the East Coast, and uh, if you like this video and you want to see more videos of my adventures, please comment and like this video. And I'm going to continue to make the juggling videos because I enjoy those, but I wanted to get some feedback on this because it's something different. And you know the story, please subscribe.